crackles sounding like velcro being ripped apart is a feature of a bronchiectasis b pleuritis c ipf d pulmonary edema and the correct answer is c ipf IPF stands for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Velcro crackles are usually heard near the bottom of the chest of a person with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Velcro crackles are a type of crackle that sounds like the sound of separating the velcro strip. How many pairs of intercostal muscles are there in the human body? A. 3 pairs B. 6 pairs C. 9 pairs D. 11 pairs And the correct answer is D. 11 pairs There are 11 pairs of intercostal muscles in the human body. These muscles are located between the ribs and help with breathing movements. What is the approximate concentration of oxygen in expired air? A. 21% B. 16% C. 10% D. 25% And the correct answer is B. 16% When we inhale, air contains roughly 21% oxygen. But when we exhale, it's reduced to around 16-17% to 17 of oxygen. This reduction in oxygen percentage during expiration is because our body uses oxygen for metabolic processes and produces carbon dioxide as a waste product. What does tachypnea mean? A. Abnormally slow breathing B. Abnormally rapid breathing C. Shallow breathing D. Irregular breathing And the correct answer is B. Abnormally rapid breathing Tachypnea is a medical term used to describe abnormally rapid breathing. It's characterized by a higher than normal respiratory rate typically exceeding 20 breaths per minute in adults. It can be a sign of various medical conditions such as respiratory infections, medical disorders or anxiety. Which of the following are causes of respiratory acidosis? A. Respiratory failure B. Drowning C. Paralysis of respiratory muscles D. All of the above and the correct answer is D. All of the above. Respiratory failure, drowning and paralysis of respiratory muscles are all causes of respiratory acidosis. Which of the following drug overdose is commonly associated with respiratory depression? A. Morphine B. Hydrocortisone C. Citrazine D. Both B and C And the correct answer is A. Morphine Morphine like other opioids acts on the central nervous system including the areas responsible for regulating breathing. In overdose, it can profoundly depress the respiratory centers in the brain leading to slowed breathing or even respiratory arrest. This happens because opioids bind to specific receptors in the brainstem, reducing the brain's sensitivity to carbon dioxide levels and decreasing the drive to breathe. Which of the following is a potential complication of thoracentesis? A. Hypertension B. Pneumothorax C. Bradycardia D. Hyperglycemia And the correct answer is B. Pneumothorax 
Thoracentesis is a procedure that uses a needle to remove excess fluid from the pleural space between the lungs and the chest wall. It is generally considered a low risk intervention. From the options given here, pneumothorax is a potential complication of thoracentesis. Pneumothorax or collapsed lung is the most common complication of thoracentesis. It occurs when air leaks into the space between the lung and the chest wall, causing the lung to collapse. This happens when the needle pierces the lung, causing air to leak out. How is the patient positioned during a thoracentesis procedure? A. Supine with the head elevated B. Prone with the head turned to the side C. Sitting upright and leaning forward D. Lateral recumbent position And the correct answer is C. Sitting upright and leaning forward The sitting upright and leaning forward position during thoracentesis helps expand the intercostal spaces, allowing better access to the pleural cavity and reducing the risk of injury to surrounding structures like the lungs and blood vessels. It also helps minimize the risk of pneumothorax, a potential complication of this procedure. Which congenital defect of the respiratory system often leads to stridor? A. Cystic fibrosis B. Bronchopulmonary dysplasia C. Laryngomalacia D. Pulmonary atresia And the correct answer is C. Laryngomalacia Laryngomalacia, a congenital defect of the respiratory system, often leads to stridor because the tissue around the larynx is floppy, collapsing into the airway during breathing. This obstruction causes turbulent airflow, resulting in the high-pitched sound known as stridor. <coughs> Which vaccine is administered to prevent tuberculosis? A. MMR, measles, mumps, rubella vaccine B. DPT, diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus vaccine C. BCG, bacillus calmedgurin vaccine D. HPV, human papillovirus vaccine And the correct answer is C. BCG Bacillus Calmedgurin Vaccine BCG vaccine is used to prevent tuberculosis. Relaxation of intercostal muscles cause A. Inspiration B. Expiration C. Both inspiration and expiration D. Intercostal muscles have no effect on respiration. And the correct answer is B. Expiration. Relaxation of intercostal muscles cause expiration. The organ that separates the thoracic and abdominal cavities is known as A. Heart B. Lung C. Diaphragm D. Stomach And the correct answer is C. Diaphragm The organ that separates the thoracic and abdominal cavities is called the diaphragm. What is the primary purpose of thoracentesis? A. To drain fluid from the abdominal cavity B. To drain fluid from the urinary bladder 
C. To drain fluid from the pleural cavity. D. To drain fluid from the spinal cord. And the correct answer is C. To drain fluid from the pleural cavity. Thoracentesis is also known as pleural tap. It is a minimally invasive procedure used to remove excess fluid or air from the pleural space, which is the area between the lungs and the chest wall. This procedure can help alleviate symptoms such as difficulty breathing and it is also used to diagnose the cause of the fluid buildup. In normal adult tidal volume is about A. 1000 ml B. 50 ml C. 2500 ml D. 500 ml and the correct answer is Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates follow our telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.